Hello and welcome to Toto TCG. You are here with me, Matthew, and we are back here with another Pokemon video on the channel. So, I do have to apologise firstly, this was supposed to go up yesterday, however, um, it wasn't really my fault per se. Um, the parcel got kept by the post office. Yeah, great stuff. So I had to go and rescue it this morning, and that's why it is going up now. So, for me, it's definitely put a sign out and tell them to put stuff in uh, in a safe place, rather than uh, <laughs> give me a red card, but uh, we've got the stuff now. Now, what happened yesterday? Well, we had the release of a very, very interesting set indeed. It's, a, it's, one, it's the small set. We always get a small set every year, where we get, like... Um, there'll be something that happened in Japan, uh, whether it be, for example, like uh, shiny Pokemon, that type of thing. There was a uh, full-on dragon set, that type of thing. We're talking Shiny Legends Dragon Majesty. Well, in today's video, we're going to be checking out some very, very interesting boxes from Hidden Fates. Oh, yeah. So, we have got two pin collections in particular. We're going to be opening both of these. And when I say both, we can't just do two. We've got to do four. So we've got four of these boxes to have a look at, to see what we can get. They are looking very interesting indeed. Now, the whole point of this, there was one card in particular that was taken out of the previous set, which actually is right there on that, that uh, packet there. So we've got the three legendary birds as a tag team GX. Now that's in the main set. Now there's also something called the shiny vault. Yep, it does sound pretty cool, the shiny vault. Um, so basically what that is, is there are several Pokemon, or at least GXs, that we've had previously. And I'll be brutally honest, quite a few of them have rotated. So this is very much a collector's set, I think. Um, a lot of people are probably going to be looking for this. I mean, it's ideal for like expanded for a lot of decks now. Um, but there's a lot of cards in here, including a shiny Charizard GX, which I think is going to be very, very expensive. If we can pull that, I mean, that's awesome stuff. That is very, very cool. Now, as well as that, we've also got um, some full art trainers, and there's actually quite a few full art trainers. Gold cards, I think is mostly, it's just stadiums. So we're getting a lot of stadiums in this set. I think there's about four I think off the top of my head it's an awesome set and it's not it's not very much like a pull in every pack but you're pretty much gonna get a pull and it's pretty good there are some trainers as well that they've reprinted in here um, so they're not hollow trainers they're now just rares which makes them a little bit easier to find so that's always pretty cool um, but yeah Hidden Fates has started and we've got 12 packs in total to check out and open. So what I'm going to do is we're going to open uh, one side at a time so we'll sort of go... I think what we'll do is we'll get all the packs out, have a look at the promos, the pins, and then we'll do our Mew packs and then our Mew 2 packs and see what we get from each side. So let's do it, let's open these up. I'm pretty sure there's probably an area, I don't really want to rip the top. Um, it looks as if it just rips but... Uh, Oh, it does. There we go. So you can just slide this open. I probably won't keep the packaging on these, but let's get this open. I am really excited for this because uh, the the stuff I've seen and the price some of the stuff is going for already is insane. So everything is basically all put in here. We've got the card there with the code to get this, and this is the Bench Barrier Mew. A really, really nice artwork on this one. So I think a lot of people will be uh, trying to get this one. It does look very, very interesting. Of course, we also do get a pin with our pin collection of Mew, and we don't have this one, so that's always very, very nice. There's Mew. Very cool. And then our first three packs of Hidden Fates right there. So very nice. So what we'll do is we'll grab everything out, like we said, and then we can go from there. So we'll grab our other Mew pack and get these out. So left side will be Mew. Right side will be Mewtwo, just to mix it up a little bit. And if we can get into the box, that would be amazing. There we go. Okay. Pop them out. I think we've only got one pack art with the uh, legendary birds on it. So 
That's uh, an interesting one. So we get, we've got doubles of pins, but I mean, it doesn't matter, does it? Look at these Charizard packs. Look at that. That looks amazing. Love this set already, and we haven't even opened it. There are um, there's also several cards. It's very Kanto themed. It looks like uh, in terms of like the the commons, uncommons, and also some of the the hollow rares as well. So uh, that's going to be pretty cool to see what we can do with that. There's also oh, there's also some um, additional like Kanto GXs that uh, we didn't get. They came out I think Japan about two three months ago in like their own little GX boxes and um, it was like oh when are we gonna get them probably in uh, Unbroken Bonds didn't see them um, so that's definitely something that uh, gonna be looking out for as well so look at that we've got the Mewtwo pin and looks as if he's got one of his little energy balls there or shadow ball probably almost looks like a uh, ultra wormhole though but very very nice very cool and this is also the mind report Mewtwo so we got this within the theme deck, I think, for the previous set. Um, so that's pretty nice. I probably do prefer the Mew artwork, but this does look very, very cool. Very cool indeed. So we'll place all of our packs for Mewtwo off to the side to the right with the pin and the promo. And then we got one more box to open and we can start. And this should be pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. We should be able to get some pretty decent pulls. There's a lot of people who have like opened um, tons of packs, really, and you you do seem to get more than you would if you get a booster box of this. You know, if you were to buy a booster box of these, you probably would you, you probably would be uh, definitely getting a big big bonus from this. So uh, that's always pretty cool. So we'll pop that to the side. We've got another promo which we'll sleeve up. Try and get this all sorted. A little bit of warp there. But hopefully in a bit that'll be okay. Okay, packs out. We have a lot of Charizard packs. This is crazy. Okay, so everything is out. We've got our codes. We'll pop them off to the side. They'll basically uh, give you the uh, these ones. So we've got left side with Mew. And we've got right side Pichu. can hold on to them. And then we can go in here. Let's bring these pins up back here a little bit just so we know we have got sleeves at the ready so we've got 12 packs in total here I, I'm really really excited to see what we get here hoping for some very very good stuff so let's do it let's start off with a shiny Charizard pack let's see how we go about on the front now there is there is of course a code trick as well so uh, it is one, two, three, and four to the front. There would be an energy, so we can guess that. So let's go psychic. No, it's water. All right, here we go, guys. So we've got water energy. We've got Misty's Cerulean City Gym. I will have, I'll let you guys have a little look. Oh, does that spoil anything for you? Oh, maybe there's a Starmie GX in this set. <laughs> Sabrina's suggestion, getting a reprint here. We've got Pokemon Center Lady. Very, very nice. Bit of healing there and remove special conditions, always like that. Got that Charmander, Clefairy, got a Slowpoke, Magikarp, Pikachu. Oh, we got our first one. We have got ourselves the shiny Gabite. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. And yep, that hollow area is textured. You can see the texture as well. That looks amazing. And we also got a hollow Misty's. Water command, very nice. So basically, two pulls per pack. So this this can happen, um, and the shiny cards take the spot of the reverse. Not all the time, but a majority of the time, you may get one of these. That's very very nice. Look at that, really nice. Two already in our first pack. That is great stuff. So let's get these sleeved on up. Uh, let's just have a little look what this one does. Uh, so, move any number of water energy from your Pokemon to your Psyder, Corsi, Staryu, Stami GX, Magikarp, Gyarados, or Lapras in any way you like. Okay, so it's a nice way of obviously moving energy to something else. Uh, of course, if you've got Stami GX or something, then uh, that's going to be tanking very, very quickly. Nice thing with the Horsey there as well, because if, if you wanted to play something like Kingdra, then uh, that might help as well in boosting up the amount of water. But nice to get this as well. You'll also notice down the bottom there, 
it does say A for alternative art, and it's SV39 out of 94. There are 94 shiny cards, and it is from Ultra Prism. So it's not, it's not like a, it doesn't bring them back into rotation, even though Ultra Prism is still in. But, oh boy, first pack, and we've got that. That's really nice. So we've got another shiny Charizard pack. Let's see how we do with this one. Pop that down. And four to the front again. Let's go with fire. It's fighting. So we got ourselves Fighting Energy, we got Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, a lot of trainers by the way, Slowpoke, Clefairy, got a Jigglypuff, Caterpie, Eevee, we got a Pikachu Reverse, very nice, and we've got ourselves a Giovanni's Exile Full Art, oh my god, that looks amazing. So this was taken out of, I'm trying to think when, when Giovanni's Exile, was it Team Up? It might be been Team Up, it could have been Unbroken Bonds, actually it might be Unbroken Bonds. They took the full art out, um, and they put it in this set, and now we've got it, that is awesome. Discard up to two of your bench Pokemon that have no damage counters on them, and all cards attached to them. Boom. Giovanni's Exile, that full art looks amazing. And that's just pack number two, and we've got three pulls already. This set is awesome. So we've got our birds coming up on our third pack here. We're taking it slow, we may as well. May as well enjoy what we have. Let's pop that down and let's go for four again. And we'll go with dark. No, it's fairy. Okay, so we got fairy energy. We've got a magma. We've got a scyther, like this artwork. Brock's grit, alternative artwork of that. We've got a psyduck. Ekins. Caterpie. We've got a Paris, Charmander, oh that's rather nice indeed, we've got ourselves a Decidueye GX, a shiny Decidueye GX nevertheless, that is looking pretty pretty nice, I like that a lot. So this is, uh, this obviously this is from Sun and Moon, so obviously this doesn't bring it back into rotation, but if you're going to play something with Expanded then this is what you use. Very, very cool indeed. Looks awesome. Did we get another pull? No, we didn't. We got a Kangas Khan, but we can't be disappointed with that. That looks amazing. Wow. Let's sleeve that up. What number is that? SV47. Wow. <laughs> There's a lot of shinies. Very, very cool indeed. That's awesome. So three for three so far with the packs. Um, uh, luck, maybe? But that was from one box. Bearing in mind that those three are all from one box, so whew, let's see how we do with the others. Four to the front again, let's go Grass, and we got that, nice. So we got Grass Energy, Lieutenant Surge's Strategy, we got a Misty's Determination, Jinx, we got a Star You. There's that Ekans right there with the Articuno in the background, very, very nice. We got an Eevee, Pikachu, Clefairy. Brock's Grit Reverse, and we got a Butterfree as the rare. So as you can see there, pretty standard pack, nothing special with the first pack in the second new box. Let's try another pack now, see what we can get. Um, I will also mention that, I don't know if this is fixed completely, but they're all white codes. So if anyone like sees the codes, they're all white. So there's no way of knowing what you're going to get, which is quite nice because you're sort of like, oh, it, oh, okay, yeah, woohoo. We, I know what that one's going to be, but we did the pack trick, I think. Uh, yes, we did. Uh, you guys can guess. Have a little guess because I just looked. Um, have a little guess and boom. There you go. We might have already done that, though. Maybe we did. Maybe we didn't. Grass energy, anyway. <laughs> Misty's Determination. We've got a Scyther. Sabrina's Suggestion. Clefairy. Psyduck. Magikarp, Staryu, Voltorb, ooh nice, we've got Brock's Training as the reverse. Uh, attach an energy card from your hand to one of your Geodude, Graveler, Golem, Onyx GX, I wonder what other GX there is. Cubone, Rhyhorn, Rhydon, or Sudowoodo. Very nice, nice way of accelerating energies. And another Butterfree as the rare there. So two Butterfrees, very cool. Okay, so last pack from the Mew side. Let's see if we can get anything from this one. So you can see, obviously, not always you get stuff.
but we've already started very very nicely with what we've got so four to the front there and let's go water but it is dark so we've got dark energy cypher charmeleon metapod ekins geodude cubone we've got an eevee clefairy charmander reverse oh look at that that is very nice we've got the hollow eevee but look at the background on this. There's a Pidgey, a Voltorb, and a Grimer with a load of Pokeballs. And it's a Hollow as well. That is so nice. Very, very nice indeed. That can go straight into a sleeve. That is from the set as well. You can see only 68 cards from the set. So, very small set. But the Shinies make up a big, big bulk of the, uh, the set. So, how did Mew fare? Well... Pretty well. Um, we got ourselves two hollows. We got ourselves a full art trainer, a full. Well, I want to call this a full art, but it's not really. Um, the full art GX, but uh, it is a shiny GX. And then a Gabite as well, which is pretty cool. So very, very nice. Put them in order right there. And we'll move that over to Mew's side. So, can. This is the question. Can the Mewtwo's beat this? Let's find out. Let's have a little look with our six packs on the right side now. Starting again with shiny Charizard. Okay, let's have a little go. Pop that out. And we got four again to the front there. We'll say fighting. It is grass. So we got grass energy. We got a far fetched Graveler. We got a Chansey. Charmander again. Uh, Clefairy. Slowpoke. Magikarp. Pikachu. Oh, nice. So we get the reverse energies, but with the new look. And we've also got... Oh, that's rather nice. We've got the full art trio birds. That is very, very nice indeed. Look at that. Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, GX. All together, 300 HP. Yes, please. So Trinity Burn, 210 for Fire, Water, Lightning, and Colorless. And then Sky Legends GX, shuffle this Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your deck. If this Pokemon has at least one extra fire, water, and lightning energy attached to it, this attack does 110 damage to three of your opponent's Pokemon. Wow. <clears throat> Let's shuffle this Pokemon. Oh, right, so it does the damage. Oh, it can just be shuffled in, or it can do some pretty serious damage with 110 on a majority of things on your opponent's bench possibly even knocking out quite a few things as well so might be worth it could be an interesting one especially with welder attaching to fire maybe you use rainbow energies as well this thing could be very very nice very very nice indeed oh that looks so cool <clears throat> oh we will sleeve up the energy as well we got it got to sleeve up the energy why not Okay, so a nice start to the Mewtwo side there with a full art tag team GX. That is the only tag, I'm going to say this, that is the only tag team in this set. So if you're looking for tag teams, that's, that's the one you're basically aiming for. Four to the front on this one, and we'll, we'll then go with Lightning, and it is Metal. So we've got Metal Energy, Sabrina's Suggestion. We've got a Charmeleon. Uh, we've got a really nice looking Chansey. Eevee. Jigglypuff, we've got a Coughing, Staryu, Ekans. Oh, that's rather nice. We've got ourselves a shiny Wimpod. That looks awesome. I love how I love how that silver background just really makes everything pop. It does look quite 3D actually. Which is really nice. Those sparkly effects are great. Did we get anything else? We got a Blaine's Last Stand, and that isn't a hollow. Um, although, good thing about this, I think, because Blaine's Last Stand was in Dragon Majesty. Dragon Majesty next year, or this year, or no, next year, will rotate, obviously. Um, so this will then, obviously, carry it on. So Blaine's Last Stand will stay. So that's quite nice, but we got a Wimpod, which is really, really nice. That's pretty cool. So if anyone does uh, the, what was it? The uh, Galissapod. Uh, it was normally Galissapod, Zoroark. As a, as a deck, then uh, that could be a very, very nice thing to look out for. But that's really nice. I like that. Love this set. Love it. It's so cool. Okay, next one. Uh, is this pack number? This is the, Right, so this is the last pack from one of the boxes. Uh, what are we going to say? Let's go with water. Nope, we have got ourselves some fighting. We've got a Scyther, 
Metapod, we've got a Magmar, Staryu, Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Ekans, oh nice, we've got a Reverse Lightning Energy, followed up by a Pinsir GX. Yeah, D didn't think that one was going to be coming, but there you go, Pinsir GX is here. Um, so, we have got six GXs in this set that came from like a, um, I want to say like a, a, like a, a deck that was made for kids in J uh, Japan. So these are very simplistic GXs, you know, 180, big, big HP, pretty simple attacks. They're nothing to really like, you know, it's nothing like flip a coin if heads your, op your opponent is paralyzed and the GX is just literally straight 160 damage. But very interesting, you know, getting a pincer GX. I'm more than happy for that. I quite like them. And we also got that nice lightning energy as well. So from that box in particular, we got one shiny, two reverse energies, and then two GXs. One tag team and one normal. Very, very nice indeed. Big, big pulls. Hopefully we can carry on with the next box here. Looking to maybe get a big shiny. Big shiny would be good, but we'll have a little look now. Let's see what we can do. So we got four again, and we'll go with Psychic. Nope, Grass. So we got ourselves Grass Energy, Chansey, Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Geodude, Pikachu, Clefairy, Cubone, Jigglypuff. We got a Psyduck Reverse, and an Erica's Hospitality. This is one of the trainers. Um, why am I getting a sleeve? Uh, one of the one of the uh, trainers. Obviously, this came out in Team Up, uh, and this was a hollow rare, very hard to find. Um, I think it was only when I had pre-releases for Unbroken Bonds that I managed to get four of these type. Now we can start getting some more with this, so it makes it a little bit easier to uh, find that one. We won't place it there because it's not a hollow, but nice pull regardless. Okay, so. Next pack, this is pack number 11. Let's have a little look at what we've got. Four to the front on this one again. Fighting, it is water. Water energy, Scyther, Magma, Charmeleon, Magikarp, Slowpoke, Clefairy, Coughing, got a Voltorb, Charmeleon as the reverse. That is rather nice. We have got ourselves a Jesse and James full art. Now this this um, trainer card was supposed to come out again in Unified Minds. They moved it as well as the Ekins and Coughing and all that. They moved it to this set to allow us to have Giovanni's Exile full art and Jesse and James full art together. And it does not disappoint. That looks awesome. Look at that Wobbuffet there. So cool. It's either a disguise. Is that a disguise like a wig or something on there? But it's so cool. It looks so cool. That can go straight into a sleeve. Very, very cool indeed. That is a nice, nice pull. I think this has actually already been banned and expanded. Uh, each player discards two cards from their hand. Your opponent, <laughs> your opponent discards first. Nice way of obviously um, getting rid of cards in your uh, opponent's hand, or at least they can discard stuff that maybe they don't want. But if they've only got two cards in hand, then yeah, that's not going to be uh, a very nice uh, tactic. But very nice looking card. I do like that a lot. Fingers crossed that we can finish on another high with maybe a shiny in this one. That would be really, really nice just to finish it off with another shiny. Let's have a little look, see how we can do. So, four to the front on this one again. We're going to say dark. Nope. Psychic it is. Got a Charmeleon, Metapod, Jinx, Magikarp, Staryu. We've got a Voltorb, Pikachu, Jigglypuff. Beautiful. We have got ourselves a Sudowoodo as the shiny looks awesome stuff it is a rotated one from Guardians Rising but it does look very very nice and a Lapras rare that's fine though we did get another shiny which we can always be very happy about there he is look at him look how happy he is very very nice very cool that is so nice so I mean even opening six packs look how much you, look how much you've got it's crazy it really really is absolutely amazing um, and I think this is definitely like big big value for money um, because out of six packs from one side I mean okay discounting the energy we got five pulls there five 
two shinies, one GX, one full art GX, and then the full art trainer. Uh, whereas on the other side, we had a we had two hollows, one shiny, one shiny GX, and one full art. So probably Mewtwo worked out better for us. It might not be all the time, but in this one in particular, it did work out to be better. But shuffling all of this around, very, very nice. I'm just really happy that we managed to do this. Like, that's just surprising to get these two together. I wasn't expecting to get these so quickly, but hey-ho, we've done it. Um, so, these are from, yeah, these are actually from the set. So you've got 68 out of 68 and 67 out of 68. So, these are basically the last two full arts before possible secret rares. Um, the shiny vault, though, is big stuff. I mean, you can see there, 94. There might even be more after that. But in this opening alone, we've got two in that one, and I think two in this one. Yeah, one, two, and then it was two in this one because we had... Yeah, so in 12 packs, we ended up getting four shinies. So, might take a bit of time to get 94, but you're not always going to get a shiny. You could get these stadiums, you could get other trainer full arts. There is a... there's a Guzma, there's a Cynthia, there's a Lady, there's Hiker. There's so many that we hadn't had, and I was I think I was mentioning quite a lot, like, where's this one? Where is it? Where, just, where is it? Tell me. Um, and we haven't even come across an Onyx or a Staryu at all, so, uh, I mean, a Star Me, so... That's definitely stuff to look out for, but very, very cool indeed. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed having a look at this. You know, it's only 12 um, packs, but a nice in-depth video, really, to uh, check out the different uh, pulls, what the sort of luck ratio is. But, yeah, I think there's several things. Hopefully, they do carry on doing this, where we just literally get white codes, and it just stays like this. Because um, then, obviously, it doesn't ruin the thing. Because I know a lot of people, when, I, when we, like, buy packs, and we're like, oh, it's a white. It's a white, yeah, you've got something. If it's green, it's like, oh, there's no point opening it. So it would be nice just to sort of make it all the same. So if they're going to carry on doing that, that might be a nice little plus. But uh, I'm overall very, very happy with what we got in 12 packs there. Um, and very, very nice start to the set. Now, I think the next time we'll have stuff from this set will be in about two weeks' time when the Elite Trainer Box comes out. And that's 10 packs. So that's going to be rather cool. Um, so I'm probably not going to get any more of the pin packs because I don't want to get any more of the promos or the pins in particular. But there's enough stuff coming out. Uh, we've got the, the Elite Trainer Box coming out. We've then got three tins in particular uh, with these type of GXs. I think they're alternative arts of this. Well, not this one, but there's three from the set of the six. They're getting alternatives and tins, which they'll come with packs. So that's a nice way of getting some more stuff. Um, but it very much does feel as if, like, you buy it to get the set here. So you got your set, which is quite nice, because all these can be used, you know, in standard and everything. You got some other stuff here, new GXs, etc. So that's pretty cool. But then when it comes to the shiny section, and some of it has been rotated, like, everything we've got here in terms of a shiny, except for the Gabite, has rotated. So it's nice, it looks nice. But I think it's a very collector set. That's my opinion anyway. But I want to leave it there for this video. But if you guys have got any comments or you want to let me know your packs and everything and let me know your pulls and how you got on, please do let me know in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you're finding me for the first time, definitely subscribe to the channel because we're going to be getting a lot of stuff for this set, it's such a cool set, um, and we, we seem to be doing pretty well for, like, luck, uh, in terms of, like, pulls and everything. Booster boxes have been pretty good. Pre-releases, okay. We may as well just call it okay. Um, but yeah, overall, very, very happy indeed with what we've got. Real nice introduction to the set. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video on the channel.